Make sure you watch the end of this video. We're going to give away the, the Detectrek M55. All right, look at that. We are out on the beach. It is super busy today. Really nice day. Super clear, nice and warm. Lots of people. Let's, let's get out there and get going. Okay, very first find is right up on the surface. Didn't take any detecting at all. It is a lighter. Let's see if it works. Oh yeah, it's a working lighter. Awesome first find. Okay, we have second target. Let's call the second one, negative four. Oh, I heard a rattle. That was it. It looks like, it's just a screw. The targets are relatively close together so far. This one is a bottle cap. Let's hope there's more than just bottle caps today. Ooh, I was gonna say it's a high ringer, but it is like a 70-40. Oh, it looks like, you see it right there. It's, oh, just the arm. I know there's more to it. These look fancy. I wonder where the rest of it is. It's got little jewels. Super nice. It's not uh, LV, it's VL, Vuitton Louis. Okay, I have a, a good sound and penny right here. Or not a penny. Oh, look at that, maybe not. Uh, maybe a penny. Hopefully not, but probably. We can hope it's something better. And unfortunately it is a penny, and it's a zinc penny too. And we just barely got the penny out and there's a 38 next to it. 37, 38. Ew. It's a Modelo cap. Give me some negative and some positive. Ah, oh, we just missed that dig. It was a jumpy number. And it's just a big, big long little spoon, like a steering. What do they call these things? Like an iced tea spoon, I guess. I'm down in a little bit of the wet here. I'm still in beach one, but uh, I do have a sound here. It looks like. Like it's in the 30s. I'll be back up in the dry again. No need to switch over. Looks like something in the 40s, but some get some iron tone in there also. That sounds a little better. Let's push it over here. What do we see? Something blue right here. Is that it? Could that be it? I don't know. That's like a piece of blue sea glass. That's really pretty. I'll keep that. And it's over here. I think it just fell into one of these little crevices. I have it for sure now. Let's see if it just falls through. And nothing. Let's do the uh, smack like that. Oh, no. We don't have it. Let's go back over this. Fell out. Or I didn't get it. Right there. Okay, pretty sure we have it this time. It is tiny. It is just a little, maybe a, a pin or an earring back. Yeah, I think it's just an earring back. I doubt it's precious. But, uh, of course, as we say, we'll just go back and look at it closer later on. It almost looks like a, it almost looks like the uh, winder from a watch, maybe. If I had to guess, because I don't see, it looks like it broke off right there. So, I think it's a watch winder wheel thingy, handle. This is a weak one. Weak and deep. And it's in the 80s. That's getting a little noisier now. We just have to unearth it. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Exciting. Could it be? Comes the reveal. Spread it out like that. Oh, it's a pesky penny. Uh, champagne uh, wire seal thingy. This one's sticking out. It is a 14. Actually, let's just do this. 
Oh, they're falling apart. Nice pair of sunglasses. I'm sure they're not scratched, right? Okay. Sunglasses. All right. Another super unstable jumpy target, but I don't hear any negative yet. And it's like in the 20s and the teens. It's not that. And I think I have it. It looks like, looks like jewelry to me. <laughs> doesn't look, doesn't look real. Yeah, it is very, very, very fake looking, but very nice looking, I guess. Pearls and uh, some super yellow gold. All right, we got a little jewelry. It's a start. All right, another surface find. Is this like the second or third pair I found? These are actually Ray-Bans. Not bad, they almost look like the ones I'm wearing. See that? Same thing. Actual Ray-Bans. I don't think they're fake either. Maybe we can get the lens back in. Maybe it's the wrong... There you go. Do a little repair work. <laughs> These things are awful. Ugh, awful flimsy. I'm probably doing it wrong. All right, we'll call it good, like that. There you go, a pair of Ray-Bans. All right, we're getting way deep into the dry now, about as far from the water as I can get. And we have a 70, what was that, a 70, 74? Oh, I see right there a dime. All right, we have a 29, solid 29. I'm thinking it's a pull tab. How do you feel about that? I'm feeling like it's definitely a pull tab now. Actually, I get a little... Oh, it's Connor. Yeah, it's a solid 29. It's right there. Oh, a weird square hole in this one. All right, pretty routine hunt so far. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Maybe this 1819 will be something different, or maybe not. Maybe it'll just be a little curled up piece of, oh no, it's a paintbrush or a makeup brush maybe. One of those two. And there's a nice high ringing 60. Helicopter flying over. Definitely a 60. No doubt about it. I'm sure we have it, oh. Even with the shake, it's right there. Zinc penny. This is probably an exciting. Oh no, it might not be a penny. It has some little bit mixed up numbers. Normally it'll. I can tell you right away it's a penny, but this time I have some questions. Now it's looking more like a penny. Just depends on what's in the ground around it. So it's over here. Go like this till it. Uh, Till it shows up and it's right there it's a penny yeah here in front of the, the lifeguards looks like there's some activity going on i think i might have my first quarter if i get it in one scoop yeah look at that one scoop lifeguards look busy they're not gonna they're not gonna cheer me on as i reveal the quarter nice new one if you bought a CKG, that might not have happened. Coupon code or promo code SAD, Seek and Detect SAD for 10% off. Look at that. All right. This one is a 27 with a little, a little grunt. So we know it's probably going to be a bottle cap. Could it be something different? So over here, keep peeling it back. All right, just get to it. <laughs> okay, Let's just go in there and grab it. Oh my goodness, it's not a bottle cap. It had a little grunt to it and it's a nickel. Where's that grunt coming from? That's weird. Tiny bit of grunt and it was not from the nickel, I guess. Or maybe it was from the nickel. 
All right, I'm sorry I missed this one. I just dug that right there and I, I've got like a 30, 31 and I see a little something right there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's get down real close like this and go like that. What is it? Oh, it's just a big, it's a big earring. <laughs> it's super light. I don't think it's gold. To look for uh, a mark or something on it. Rang up a 30. I don't see any marks, but big hoop earring. Okay, a jumpy negative five. Okay, I can hear the waves are, are beating down pretty good right now. And that is a negative five. It's a gold screw. Ooh, gold plated? Maybe. 10K? Maybe not. Go, little Yorkie, go. Don't get washed out to sea. Okay, we have 11. Oh, pretty solid 11, as far as, as far as I can hear. I, I can't hear real well. The waves are kind of loud. And it's still holding a steady 11. Let's hope it's not a foil seal. Oh, it is. Yeah, there it is. Yuck. All right, real noisy here. We got the we get the waves, the music, the little ones here. But I I managed to hear this 60 over all the noise. That's a fairly deep one. There it is. Oh, we have it in the scoop. How exciting. Oh, it's not a penny. What is this? It's a, I don't know. U, oh, eSports CSUNH pin. That is not gold, but nice looking. Whatever that is, we'll have to look that up. eSports, maybe like video gamers or something. All right, we have a high tone, more than likely a quarter. Let's not ruin the surprise though. Let's say we don't know what it is. Could be something different. Keep watching. You think it's over on that side? That's it. I think. Did we just lose it? Sitting up on edge or something? Completely just vaporized. How could that be? Disappearing quarter. Let's go over this again. Carefully. Let's stick in the scoop. That happens. Nope. All right, well, that one is gone. Or it's just still in the hole. Let's try another scoop. Maybe it fell back in there. And doesn't want to be found. All right, well, we can't win them all, I guess. I'll keep looking. I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'll keep looking. Crazy. Oh, it's coming back. A faint 96. Maybe I just shoved it down deep with the tip of the scoop. That happens. That was it. You just gotta keep trying. And it's right there. We got it. It was a struggle, but we got it. A little bit older one too. And 82. Oh no, Here comes the water. I just, fill your holes. I, I just tripped in that hole that somebody dug. I almost busted my ankle. I've got a 27 here. And the tide is coming in behind me. Suddenly we're in the wet. That looks like a nickel. 
Nickel. Oops. Nickel. All right, we have a low 70s. Oh, really low 70s, like into the 60s a little. 80s now. 20. Lots of numbers. I feel like it, a potential coin spill. There's an 88 over here. All right, we got the first one. And that one's a quarter. Okay. I think this one was like a 40. Odd number for a coin. It doesn't, doesn't make sense. It's not a zinc penny, but it is a zinc penny. Another one. There it is, another quarter. Full blown coal, coin spill now. And that one is a dime. There it is, another penny. Like that. There we go. Nickel. Right there. Like that. That one worked out good. Single scoop. Okay. I think we're clear now. I don't know how much that was. There's a bunch of coins. All right, we're almost back now, and I think we have our, where is it? Our last, probably our last penny. I don't know. I don't know if we'll find anything else. This is the, uh, the penny for the road after, uh, after this we go. 62. Quite a few pennies today. And uh, not a lot of excitement, a couple of, couple of little things. Keep an eye on that wrap up. You'll see all the, all the finds. If you don't feel like watching all the digs. Down there, getting a bunch of Kelpie stuff. Oh, something big. It's, a, it's like a Birkenstock. That's not a penny. <laughs> yep, rings up just like a penny. All right, we gotta leave on a good note. Let's get a good target here. Another, yet another last target. 70, probably a dime. Strong 70. Didn't get it yet, there it is. I hear it. Oh, it's bigger. It's bigger than a dime. What is this thing? It's odd. Oh, it's no cash value. Let's see. Giant token that I can't read, but it does say no cash value. Just to remind me that it doesn't, it's not worth anything. Okay, last target. Um, we're getting out of here now. Let's uh, let's get back to the car. All right, here you go. Here's our haul for today. We've got the, the trash that didn't get to the bin yet, the small trash. The big trash is in the bin. We've got the bottle caps and the pull tabs and one little piece of C-glass. Actually, two little pieces of C-glass. Little blue one, too. Put those aside. Uh, two little blobs, nice looking blobs, a wheel weight, some bobby pins, a lighter, a lighter that works, some hardware, uh, the obvious, obvious tent stakes, and this one is a big long like iced teaspoon, uh, a couple of champagne top holder downer retainer twisty thingies, um, this is a vape obviously. This looks like a, uh, a little sand mold for like a softy cone top. Kind of like the, the poop emoji a little bit. Uh, let's see, sunglasses, this pair of big fat glasses I haven't cleaned up or anything and we won't be wearing those. An arm off another pair of glasses. And then a nice pair of Ray-Bans that are uh, in pretty decent shape. I mean, these are just like my prescription glasses here, very similar. So maybe I can get new lenses and wear them not they're not real bad the lens was popped out when i found it all right then uh this guy is i think it's like part of the wheel from a a lighter maybe it's awful skinny i thought maybe it was a winder for a watch uh, i don't think it is now but it makes more sense that it's a a lighter igniter wheel thing uh before the earrings let's do the change we've got that's a dime it's not over there. so we got 12 
pennies, three nickels, four dimes, five quarters, a uh, no cash value token that just has an eagle on the side. It's a little bigger than a quarter, smaller than a half. We've got this obviously uh, bling earring. It's a uh, super yellow. It's a uh, very pale yellow. And then this chunky little hoop earring that's maybe gold plated. It's not marked or anything, but it is nice gold looking if you see it in the right light. Um, I think I might have a matching a matching earring for this. I don't know if it's in the car or not, but I do have another one that's almost identical to this one a couple hunts ago. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks again so much for watching. And uh, make sure and subscribe if you're not. Put a comment down below. Check out my links down below and all that good stuff. All right, we'll see you in the next one. All right, it's time for that giveaway, the Detect Trek M55 metal detector. You had to guess how many rings I found so far this year up until that review video came out. So I clipped all those, uh, all those rings into one uh, series here. So you can see that I accurately counted, counted them out one at a time. So we know an exact number. And I already know I've watched I watched all the way. The, I edited this already, so I watched to the end. I know the uh, correct number, and I looked through the comments already, so I do know that there are three correct guesses. All you had to do was type in the number 35. 35 was the correct number, so if you typed a 35 in, you were eligible to win. So we're going to pick from those three comments. We've got them loaded into this comment picker website, and the winner is Ed Haida, 8825. Congratulations, Ed. Send me a message. My email is listed on my YouTube channel. Um, send me a message and I'll get that detector out to you. Thanks everyone.